How's it going, Forex traders? It's yours truly, Dapolis, and I am back. I'm excited today, guys, because the US dollar is trending again. And we all know what that means. It means that it's time for us to start making money again. Guys, you know, I've been away from the charts. I've been on holiday, spending all my Forex proceeds, chilling, flying private jets here and there, because I actually just wanted to allow the market rest, you know, once the US dollar trends, it goes into a consolidation. But guess what, guys? We are back trending again, and I am excited. I am excited because, I mean, this is time for me to make money. But most importantly, it's time for you guys to join me making money in the Forex market once again. Now, guys, you guys know, and I know, that the past eight weeks, the market has been quiet, right? This is because the US dollar trended most of last year. For every trend, there must be a consolidation period and the market goes quiet. But a lot of traders, I notice they struggle within that period. It's usually a challenge for them, right? It's always a challenge for them. But don't worry, guys. If you've made money, lost money in the past, all of that doesn't matter. We are now back to phase 2023 head on. And we're going to kick the year off with a very, very profitable profit the guys we're gonna make a redraw somewhere out once i jump on the trades and we make money i will bring my redraws to the forex rather to my youtube channel to show you guys the potential of what you guys are sitting on the forex market is indeed very life-changing and you can see i'm so fired up today because i get really excited when the trends kick off again now i must state this if you want to be able to understand what I'm teaching. If you want to be able to jump on this fantastic US dollar wave that is, I, I believe we're going to trend for at least another thousand to 1,500 pips across from Euro USD, AUD USD, USD, all the dollar pairs are about to trend. If you want to stand any chance of being able to profit from this, I suggest you understand the top-down analysis concept. And I teach this on the Forex Mastery program. So even the days or rather the weeks or whenever it is I release this video, even when I'm not here to release these videos, because guys, to be honest, I, I spend most of my time trading. I make a lot of, I make more money from trading than I'll ever make doing any of these right so there's some times where I'm too tired I can't be here I don't want to do the video I'm gonna be trading making my own money so in those times when I'm not here to hold your hand the Forex mastery program that has the top-down analysis will hold your hand and ensure that even when Dapper Willis is not here you're making money as well so do yourself a favor grab the program the link is always around here somewhere somewhere around here somewhere around here I know my team said they were going to make it a subscription it's supposed to be $99 a month but for now they haven't been able to add the subscription um, software to the program so and they're currently working on that so ensure to grab it I believe in probably the next two to three weeks once they're done with all the programming they're gonna add the subscription so ensure to grab it now for a one-time fee it's somewhere around here 99 bucks so that you don't miss out on this us dollar trend this is so important this can and will determine the rest of your trading year one thing i learned about forex trading is when you make money early on in the year it makes you feel good you're able to take out money you're able to take care of yourself you can pay your rent you can do all these amazing things so don't miss out on this us dollar training opportunity get the program now and listen once you're done taking the program go and watch all my youtube videos it will make sense so once you come on the chart you're a ninja you're a sniper and you're ready to go and for those of you who are already on the program not to worry guys i'm gonna start doing live streams on the forex mastery program i'm gonna give you guys some exclusive entries and exits only for you guys because i love you guys very much anyways guys enough of all of that let's jump into the charts let's see i've been looking at some aud usd is about to fall off guys i made money off gold you want to see all of that you want to see the opportunities and you want to see how you can make money let us go let's jump in. let's go let's go How's it going traders? Welcome inside of my screen. Excited as ever. Now I'm going to kick things off. This video is not going to be that long. I want to go straight to the point. I want to ensure that you guys catch these moves. Once I record this, this is going live on my YouTube channel so that you guys can catch these moves as well. Now, obviously before I do anything, I have to ensure that you guys are all subscribed to the YouTube channel. First of all, 
Have you gotten the Forex Mastery program? If you haven't, I'm going to give you a second. Click the link. It's in the description or it always pops up somewhere. Get it before you forget about it, right? Before you forget to do it. Ensure to get it so that all of this will make sense to you. That's one. Once you're done getting the program, ensure. I'm going to give you guys some time before I get into the juice of the video. Ensure to subscribe to the channel so that once I drop a video, you guys are the first to be notified because there's no point me dropping a video today and, and, and you watch it three days later because the trades have already played out, right? So number one, I'll give you five seconds, get the Forex Mastery program, click the link or at least save the link, it's in the description or around here somewhere, get it and then subscribe to the channel. So I'm just going to give you guys about 10 seconds, so 10 seconds to do that. So quickly do that. And then before I jump into, as you can see, US um, AD USD is about to jump off, fall off a cliff. This is a potential. This is a potential 700 pip drop for AUD USD. So you don't want to miss this. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So get the program. I'm waiting for you. Get the program. We also have gold that's about to hit my target as well. GBPUS is about to fall off. So I have a lot of the uh, BTC is about to blow all the way to the upside because there's a lot of liquidity in the market now. So get the program. I'm waiting for you guys. Just click, do it, do it, subscribe at least, or just ensure, I'm going to jump into the video now, ensure to grab it, okay, if you haven't done that, I'm going to carry on with the video right about now, okay, so that you don't, I don't waste too much of your time. Anyway, so guys, very first thing of the day, subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys, I know why I'm saying this, because there's no point in me dropping these videos and you guys watch it three days later, it's so annoying because then the trade has already played out and I all dabs. I didn't get to see any trade setups and I saw the setup, but it was too late. There's no point in me recording these videos if you see it too late. Anyways, back, back to what I was saying. So AUD USD, based on the analysis we had done last week. Oh, this is a bearish engulfing bad boy. My guy. AUD USD, my guy. My guy. My guy. <laughs> you see this bearish engulfing candle? It's a tweezer top. Tweezer top, resistance level, bearish engulfing candle at major resistance. That's all I need. Sometimes in life as a trader, this bearish engulfing candle on the monthly time frame is all you need for clear direction. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming down. So, for those of you who are joining my trader talk for the first time and want to understand, get a glimpse of how I trade, it's very simple. We do what they call a top-down analysis like I teach on the Forex Mastery program. Simple. Top-down analysis simply means we go from high time from the highest and work our way down to a low time frame where we then execute the trade. But the difference is we use the high time frame to identify the overall direction. And I'm sure you can see very clearly, very straightforward here that the overall direction for this pair right now is bearish. We're heading all the way lower. We're coming down. It's easing, pushing, pushing down. You can see. But obviously, we see these regular pullbacks and all that. But the most important thing is because the overall flow is down, we only look out for we'll look out for selling opportunities, right? So monthly time frame is pointing lower. Also on the monthly time frame, you can see um, this market has come to put a bearish engulfing candle. We're pointing down. Also, I'm going to draw my trend line here, okay? So it's very simple and straightforward so that you guys don't get confused. I'm sure you guys can see this very nice and clearly, right? Very nice and clearly. So as long as we are below this trend line, everything is pointing. I'm, I'm only going to be looking for selling opportunities. You get what I mean? As long as we are in the bearish movement, that, that's one thing you guys need to understand the top-down analysis. The overall flow of the river pointing down, we're only looking for selling opportunities. Even when the market was pushing all the way to the upside, did I jump on this trade? Yes, but I was extremely careful because I was going against the flow of the river. I have an analogy called the flow of the river. It's very simple. If the market is flowing down, means the river is flowing south. All I want to do is jump with my, with my little boat so that the market can push me in this direction. There's no point trying to flow against the river. It's always going to give you challenges like look at this retracement chop 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 because it was flowing against the river it was such a headache to trade this retracement but look at every time we came and flowed in the direction it was such a breeze but just on chop 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 but look how we're coming down easily and nicely okay so from um aud usd like we predicted last week um like we rather we analyzed last week we can see that the clear direction is downwards now we're done with the monthly time frame we will then come on the weekly time frame okay so the weekly time frame is where i come to plot all my key levels i can't start plotting my key levels right now because that is proprietary information to the forex mastery students but the rest to show that no 
indicators help me plot this is simple price action okay understanding the market will teach you how to plot these levels is so simple and straightforward now these levels will guide us as you can see once we came to this level or rather we blocked this level kissed it came here kissed it jumped on it so you can see it's quite evident that the market flows from zone to zone right so these zones that we've mapped out pretty nicely would guide us as we trade you know this massive the, this massive trend right so this will help us know where to take our profit this would help help us to know where you know the market is going to turn around and stuff like that so as you can see overall flow now we have these key levels mapped out now what has happened to AUD USD is we dropped down overall target was supposed to be down here zone to zone however we came here and stopped the market has not pushed all the way to the upside however we've been unable to take out this resistance bar and we're now facing down again now you have to understand that during this retracement i was not interested in trading now i'm interested in trading why because we're now pointing down in conflict with the overall flow of the river this is this has a higher probability monthly sending us down has given us a tweezer top weekly the key levels we've run into a key level which is a resistance you can see bearish engulfing kind of off of the resistance and as you can see don't forget the market says mr willis we flow from what zone to zone zone to zone so my next zone will be here which is not point six hundred so now that i as you can see this game has given me my overall target i can see where the market is coming to then i can come to a daily time frame to try although i'm already short this trade already i'm already uh in this market already my entries are actually here once the break of the counter trend line you guys are forex mastery students you know my entry and exit strategy okay i'm already short aud usd at the moment however we are slowly approaching my first target which is here okay so i would have my uh, first trade would have been gotten closed out by now so a lot of you are asking me like why is your first target here the difference between here and here is not a lot of pips you have to understand that guys at the end of the day we're we're here to make money right so no matter how little the market gives me i'm going to take it right and i will protect myself so at this point i have moved my stop losses rather i haven't done that yet because as at the time i'm trading this I haven't actually seen my, I haven't actually opened my MT4 and this is the first time I'm opening my chart today. So once I'm done here, I'm going to go to my, my so just for those of you who have taken this trade with me, okay, taking this trade with me, ensure to go and move stop losses to break even, slightly past break even and at least take out 20% of your trade. So if you have one lot open, close out 0 0.20 lots, hold something, bank it. Okay, bank it and then move your stop. So this what, what happens that you're completely risk free and you've taken a profit no matter how little. You see, I have a rule in this game. No matter how little it is, you take at least you take something from the market. Never get greedy. Okay. So now we're done with the <coughs> daily. I can't exactly explain to you guys my entry around here because it's only proprietary to the Forex Mastery students, but bear rest assured that my entry is at, at this point here. Um so i'm watching this man guys trust me i did the analysis last week it's live on my youtube channel right so if you want to check it out feel free to check it out these analysis i do them week in week out it comes easy to me in five minutes i'm done okay so what i can see here is now ladies and gentlemen we just need to break this green bar once we break this green bar our next level target is going to be all the way down here which is at 0.1 uh not 0.61957 once we take out here next level target is going to be here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow the market break below here now within here i would then scale now this is the plan let me explain something to you guys about how to trade the forex market properly right so you want to get in decent risk size three percent no matter how little you can take take it now once that so this is the first area of concern always try to take out a percentage of your profit at the first area of concern now once we break that first area of concern there's usually a huge space this huge space now gives you the opportunity to then get into the market again with another trade don't forget we still have our first trade open but we're being conservative here because we're not exactly sure yes we're sure but we're being careful so being careful but once we take out the first area of concern and we have space 
then we can jump in again this way we now have two trades open right and this one will have most likely have a smaller uh um, most likely have a smaller pip count in terms of stop loss so this way i'm um, okay let me explain what i mean to you guys so you guys understand so i'll be looking for something like this right I'll be looking for something like this to happen for AUD USD, which would be absolutely amazing. So my stop losses will be somewhere around here. My entries here, stop losses here, and then I get to bank all this one to the downside. So this trade will now have like a risk to reward of about maybe five to one. Already this is my trade, my stop losses are here. So this one so here is looking about maybe a 6.57 to one, which is which is decent. But don't forget, I've, I'm about to take out 20% of my profit here, right? So I have hypothetically i'll have 0.8 lots open right but because of the fact that i can jump on here for another one lot i now have 1.8 lots open which is this second trade what is what usually makes a world of a difference so don't worry about the first one the first one is for you to just have a skin in the game throw in your three percent just throw it in so that at least you're part of the movement then watch how I'll, watch how the market unfolds watch for a pullback within the trade that's what i mean this is a pullback within the overall trade and that's exactly how you're able to compound your trade and make instead of just making 700 pips now you would have made times two of 700 pips okay let's say the first the second one gives you about 500 pips so you made 700 pips on the first trade and 500 pips on the second trade and in one move one move i'm not jumping from this pair to that pair to this one no 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 in one move you have extracted 1,200 pips. That's how it's done. So for now, be careful. This guy, I'm looking at it, I'm watching it. To be honest, to be honest, we can jump out of here and start doing whatever the hell we want to do, right? That's up to the market. That's the market's business. But I'm sticking to the principles of price action. Price action state that lower lows, lower highs, bearish engulfing candle on a monthly. I'm expecting this to break. I'm 90% confident we break to the downside. But the remaining 10%, which you, you can never rule out that the market can go crazy. No matter how confident or no matter how good you are, never take chances. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. Now, this is what separates the profitable traders from the not so profitable traders, the traders who are consistently making money in the market. What separates us is very simple. I don't take chances, no matter how clear it is. Don't forget that. Okay? But notwithstanding, it's going to drop. You heard it here first on Dapsy Radio, right? So AUDUS is done. My next trade that I actually have open is gold. Okay. Gold, uh, next level target for gold is 1.800. My entries are somewhere about here, as you can see. What happened? What gold broke the immediate trend line and started coming down here. This isn't exactly a trade that I would like to speak about because this is actually a very unconventional trade. Um, I just saw it. I liked the setup, so I took it. I saw what was happening. I'm just going to delete this. I saw what was happening, you know, we broke out of the trend line, came down, tested here, and we started. So this was more like a falling knife trade. I like to trade falling knives with gold. I actually have a strategy for gold called falling knives, and it never fails me. Actually, I'll update that on the Forex. Let me, let me write that down. Forex Mastery. I know I keep saying I'll update, I'll update, but this one I actually want to update. Let me take notes down here. Update the Forex Mastery program with falling knife strategy. Okay. Update. Forex mastery with falling knife strategy for gold always works once you see a falling knife for gold for gold it will always work so AUDUSD for those of you guys who have who are joining me on the trade take out your first level profit here and allow now if you want to jump into this trade I'm going to release another video next week where I'm going to look for another opportunity so that I can add to my existing trade don't forget to watch out that's why I said subscribe to the channel and get the forex mastery program so that all of this can make sense to you now over to the euro dollar right last week what did we on what did we understand about the euro dollar sorry I'm just going to do this properly now the euro dollar as you can see um I'm just going to the euro dollar we we had anticipated that the market was going to pull into this region about here now this is a very 50 50 region right so if i just draw my counter trend line like so this is a this this for euro dollar is a huge deciding point okay although the overall flow is bearish the overall flow is bearish if i just draw my uh, fibonacci from swing low to swing high 
this is a very bearish region for for euro usd right about here this is a bearish region now i'm expecting euro usd to come lower okay so i'm favoring this euro usd to the downside to the tune of 80 percent however this is also a major support level as well so what is stopping me from selling euro usd at this point is these two guys don't play don't play with these guys man this place this place is a dangerous zone <laughs> don't play with this don't play with this guy oh, this guy you are see he can this you can change anything you you, you can change it for your father i'm telling you <laughs> if he changes it for your home you just see your account go from green to red we need to clear this level guys we were trading here about trading here about um sometime last week i said we we're going to come down here we've come down here it was so easy did i trade it i didn't trade it i was not interested in trade because the pip count from here to here is not that much i was so interested but if you had used the falling knife strategy you would have definitely i love the you see the falling knife strategy is one of the best strategies in the world i'm not going to lie i should actually include that yeah falling knife strategy happened here okay so we've pulled back into here so this is actually the deciding point for euro usd so i'm going to be watching this not much to talk about on the euro let's quickly go over to gbp usd gbp usd is acting very similar it's acting kind of like in the same way as most pairs at the moment right um i can see a double top at major resistance just like AUD USD on a weekly time frame double top at major resistance we've broken in a counter trend line and this boy looks like he wants to fall GBP USD, I know you want to fall, but the only issue is this bar here. Minus support. So you headed here first on DAPC radio. If GBP USD can take out 1.19667, next level tag is going to be 1.140 and all the way down. So this is not looking good to, for, for the for the pound, for the British pound. It's not looking good for cable at all. If we break here all the way down, however, we can rock it all the way to the upside. So I'm favoring the downside to the tune of 80%, but I'm not going to do anything now until I see a daily bullet, a daily bearish engulfing candle close down below here. Then I will then scale to a four hour time frame and then i'll look for trading opportunities around here and then shot all the way to 1.140 and then all the way down here but we have a potential drop of a thousand nine hundred pips if i'm not no, 1100 1.1900 minus 1.0600 is 1300 pips so gbp usd has a potential drop of 1300 pips what i'm going to do is i'm going to chill the market has told me, look, Dabs, if you're patient enough and you allow me to decide, wait for me to decide. Be patient and wait for me to decide, then trade. You can make 1,300 pips. So what does Dabsy do? He listens. Because for when the market is ready, it will come knocking on my door and tell me, yo, Dabs, I'm ready. AUDUSD, I didn't do anything. I left it. It was doing this, retracing, up, down. I didn't see anything. When it was ready... He came to tell me, I've put in the bearish engulfing monthly candle low. I've hit major resistance on a weekly time frame, on a monthly time frame too. I've broken in a counter trend line. There's nothing stopping me. I'm, I want to fall dabs. He came. I was sleeping. He told me. What did I do? I woke up, came here, executed the trade, closed my computer, and went back to sleep. Now I'm in profit. He has showed me the first level target that I'm supposed to take my first profit out 20%. I'm going to do that now and I'm going to stop losses to break even. Peace of mind. But you see this guy now, if you start, if I traded AUD USD before that, I would have, I wouldn't have been able to sleep. It's going to go up. Gonna... So long story short, the Forex mastery program and the top down analysis teaches you peace of mind. That's the most important thing. Patience. Wait. Once we break 1.190, yeah, we can go selling but in the meantime go spend time with your family i'm about to go shopping myself right i'm gonna go shopping man shit i ain't got time for this when it's ready you come to tell me okay i wanted to go over something else real quickly btc and uh spx but let me see what's happening with XP xpx for those of you guys who do not know the forex mastery program works for all markets top down analysis works for all markets from what i can see on spx very nicely and very clearly what is actually going to happen is very simple and straightforward i'm expecting spx to rally i'm expecting a rally <laughs> pull back into fibonacci zone if i draw it from the week still touching if i draw it from the body still touching come to the weekly time frame <laughs> watch this okay I'm going to delete this 
You see, quick analysis, guys. Quick, quick time. Quick, quick time. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. SPX. No jokes. So, SPX has to, they can do two things, right? Let me just quickly see. Um, quick analysis. Quick what? Analysis, boy. Quick analysis. No need to, no, no crying, no none of that, no none of this, and no none of all of that, right? Quick analysis. So, what do I think S&P 500 is going to do? Very simple and straightforward. So, what I just did quickly now was, you have to understand, principles of price action. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. I'm most likely going to come and put in a higher high. Even if we don't come in to put in a higher high, at least we would try. And one thing I know about S&P 500, it loves its Fibonacci. Oh, my God. It loves its Fibonacci, especially the 50 fib. It loves it. And we've kind of like put to touch the top of 50 fib. Or, but then again, the demand zone is somewhere around here. So what's going to happen is very simple for SPX, right? The deciding zone will be this green bar around here. Now, I have, I'm bullish on SPX. But I'm not sure if we want to come in for a further pullback, further retracement, right? So I'm going to be monitoring SPX. It will actually be on my watch list, right? Now, we'll come into the brain of a profitable forex trader. Listen, let me show you something, right? <clears throat> We've made a higher high. This is looking like a potential higher low, okay? Now, from what I can see here on the monthly time frame, this is looking like a left shoulder head and this is looking like a right shoulder i'm just trying to explain to you guys why why i am bullish on S spx right i can see it, this thing so the principles of price action state this very clearly when there's a head and shoulder form like this in order for this head and shoulder to be valid we will need to see a break above and a candle close above. Now, once if SPX can do that, we are going up. There's nothing that's stopping. If any anybody wanted them CNN, if the CNN likes this, you see what they want to see. You see price action and technical analysis. Once this head and shoulder is fulfilled with a bullish candle close above here, we're going to the upside. Okay. So at the moment, we're still here. We're still within the head and shoulder area. So I will be patient. I will wait. By the time I'm done trading AUD USD and GBP USD, this will be right by then. So AUD USD, I'll trade it for another month. GBP USD will probably line up maybe next week. So I have trades lined up that would distract me and make me money while this is lining up. You get what I mean? So the way I like to trade is I have the. So you know how you're cooking and you have things on the front burner and things on the back burner, right? So this is on the back burner right right now, right? So I have AUD USD right now. I'm cooking that one actively. GBP USD is getting ready. You get what I'm saying? Euro is in one place and now I have SPX in one area as well. So SPX might not be now, like right now. It needs to decide. It's not exactly sure because I have an area of... Cons Excuse me, guys. It's very important to state all these things, right? I have an area of concern, which is here. Not a lot of traders show you this. <sighs> I'm worried, and I'll show you why I'm worried. And this is, I will always write this in my journal. Now, usually, one thing I've learned about the SPX as well, it likes to come into the demand zone. And the demand zone is actually, this is actually, if I'm being honest, this is the Willis zone, 0 0.5 to 0.618. And this lines up with the demand zone. So ideally, I would like for this guy to come down here to complete before we head higher. You know, so I'm going to be watching SPX. I'm not in a hurry to trade it because I'm very concerned. So SPX is kind of like 50-50 at the moment. In order for us to go higher, let's bounce off of this. We're going up. But if we break below this counter trend line, we might roll in down here to test here. For now, no bias. It is forming. You know, it is allow. It's like I don't know. For those of you guys who are from Africa, there's something called palm wine. Palm. You see, most alcohol, most of the alcohol you drink is gotten from something called palm wine. So they are palm trees. So palm wine is actually yeah. In America, they call it moonshine. 
Yeah, moonshine. So in, in Africa, in Nigeria, we call it pami. <laughs> Palm wine, you understand? So there's a process called fermentation in which the palm wine is left to ferment and then it then turns into clear alcohol. Do you get what I mean? So if you want to get the best out of palm wine, you need to allow it to ferment. So this is exactly what is happening to SPX. The fermentation process is ongoing for SPX, you see? So you have to calm down and allow the market. So right now, you don't know if you want to go up or come down. So simple, what do we do in this situation? Three key levels, that's all. And watch it. Watch it do its thing. You see, you play around, play around. If you see the erection, bam, time to buy it. If you see, come down, allow it, let it do what it wants to do. And we can. But I know for a fact, SPX eventually will go higher. Okay, it's only a matter of time. So now, patience for now. And last but not the least, BTC. Um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Uh, I'm expecting Bitcoin to rally into 31, 31K, 31,400, as you can see about here. So I'm just watching it, right? Um, this is the only thing stopping BTC at the moment. So I'm just going to watch it um, just to see what happens actually. If, according to my calculations, this is true, this is looking like a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So we might do something a bit like this. Okay. Potentially, you know, to the upside. I'm not saying anything for sure now. I'm not, you know, in a hurry to trade BTC. But this is looking like a potential projection for BTC. So I'm going to be watching this. I'm not really a fan of trading cryptos. But I'm going to be watching this once again. So guys, as you can see, I've lined up everything. But in order of priority, AU, AUD USD kicked off already in profit. AUD um, gold is about to hit my first level target at 1.800. You had it here first. I'm already in this trade. AUD USD gold. Euro USD is fermenting, cooking. GBP USD any moment from now. Break of this level. Next level target here btc i'm looking at next level target um i needed to retrace a bit before we head higher actually i don't really um i don't really <clears throat> i don't really trade btc that much but we're going to be watching as well the same analogy works across all pairs all markets forex mastery program top down analysis is the way to go it will teach you everything as you can see easy straightforward don't need to stress yourself day traders always jumping in and out of the market they don't know they, half the time they don't even know where the market is going this is where the market is going so ladies and gentlemen is there any pair i'm forgetting let's look at oil uh oil is not looking great at the moment too much stuff here so all this annoying stuff so i'm just going to clear everything from my oil chart I will clear my drawing tools. I never clear my major levels. As you can see, we keep the major level nicely done. If I come to the monthly time frame just to see what's happening in oil. Oil pushed into here, that's why. Okay, pushed into here, that's why. So um, this is looking like major support. As you can see, we've tried to break below it. Flicker, 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 flicker. All it takes, guys, for oil to rally, all it takes is one bullish engulfing candle here. That's it, done 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 if i just see one bam <laughs> it don't go <laughs> anyways guys thank you for so much for staying with me i'm so excited i'm making money my accounts are green again i'm happy so once again guys ensure to grab the program the link is going to be around here somewhere jump on board this is how to trade forget about what everybody else is telling you this my dear friends, it's the way to go. Once again, I love you guys very much and I'll catch you guys on my other screen. Let's go. Thank you guys for staying till the very end of this very amazing video. I hope you've learned a lot. Once again, my name is Dapo Willis and I love you guys very much, right? I love you guys very much. Thank you. You can see all the amazing traits that we've, we've been able to analyze. I can almost guarantee you that everything is going to work out, right? So don't worry about that, right? So once again, I'll catch you in my subsequent videos. If you haven't already grabbed the program, click the link around here below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of this amazing and juicy, juicy opportunities in the Forex market. Take it easy. I love you and peace out.